Hey guys, it's Tigger here, and today I have another GTA 5 video for you guys. So, if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and let's get into it. So, the video I'm going to be making today is a little tutorial on a glitch in GTA 5. This, is, this isn't like a game breaking glitch or anything, it's not to do with any money or RP, so I won't get a strike on my channel for uploading it. Um, it's actually just a small glitch involving um, changing the color of shirts and keeping the their designs or logos on them and uh, it's actually a very simple glitch depending yeah it's pretty simple if you get it to work right and um, I'll leave the link to the youtuber who found this glitch his name is Freight Train What the Fudge and I've been watching him for a while now and I think he's a pretty good youtuber and I think you can learn a thing or two from him so um, make sure to check his channel out and uh, if you enjoyed his videos subscribe to him but uh, first step to this glitch is um, you're going to want to come to this uh, to a clothing store. It doesn't have to necessarily be this one, but this is the one he used when he was explaining it. So I'm just going to use it too. Plus it's also, uh, it has a good layout. And uh, first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the top section and um, go to the t-shirts and just choose a t-shirt with a design you like. Um, as you see here, I choose the yeah t-shirt. And afterwards, you want to go to the front counter, and you go to, want to go to your outfits, and go to your saved outfits, and you want to just choose one of your outfits and override it, and make sure that this is this outfit saved in its place. Um, after that's done, you want to back out and head back to the tops again, and then go back to the t-shirts, and then choose a t-shirt with a color you like. So as you see here, I go with uh, this t-shirt with like the purple on it and it's got the nerd with the cape. And you want to go back to the counter and back to your tops and then you want to just hover over the outfit with the design you like and then after a couple seconds just press B on Xbox or circle on PlayStation and uh, back out and it'll give you the color but it'll keep the design of the original shirt. And it's pretty, it's pretty helpful. Um, some of the shirts it works with are just like the t-shirt ones. And also the, some of the new ones that came with the ill-gotten gains part one and um, I'm not sure if it works works with any of the crate drop um, shirts yet I have to try that out later um last night when I was recording this or should I say like early this morning because it's like three o'clock four o'clock in the morning I was having problems with this um, tell me if this happens to you guys in the comments if you feel like it but um I get problems with my saved outfits where whenever I try to save an outfit with a t-shirt on it and like no no sweater or anything on it, just a t-shirt, uh, instead of giving me the t-shirt with the design I like, it'll just give me the color of that t-shirt, but it'll put the Viscatin or Vi section, however it's pronounced, uh, design on it. And if you don't know what that shirt is, it's actually like a shirt that came with one of, it's one of the special tops and it came with the... One of the updates it was in the crate drops and it was giving me that problem and if it happens to you what i suggest doing is um save an outfit that's like um like a sweater or something like coveralls and then just override it with the shirt that you want that's what i did at the beginning of the video i used the cop outfit so that way i won't have to worry about the logo getting in the way and then yeah and as you see here i i did do it with uh one of those other new shirts so that's a good example of a shirt that doesn't have to be the t-shirts. And um, so you see here, I'm using this yellow shirt. This is like, okay, so those shirts, the the yeah shirt, the cat shirt, the cat shirt, the, um, the green shirt, and this yellow one, and the purple one with the nerd on it. Those are like five shirts that work with this glitch. Uh, those are yeah, so those are some of the ones I suggest doing this with also the first one which is called the illusion shirt But I like to call that the hexane because uh, counter shirt But anyways as you see here, um, I'm using this shirt and this is a good example of a shirt that doesn't work So when the logo from the shirt you pick second appears beneath the the shirt from that outfit That's that's how you know it's not gonna work The only way it's gonna work is if you see only the outfit the design from the first shirt that you chose that's saved that's when you know it's going to work. But if it shows both logos on one t-shirt, then you, that's how you know it doesn't work. Um, I'd also like to say that school is done for me now. So in the near future, uh, not in the near future, what I'm saying, I'm done with exams. So I'll have a lot more time to be spending on videos. And I also will probably be uploading some Counter-Strike soon. Because I've been playing that recently and I really do enjoy it. But um, 
I'll talk about that in another video. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, remember to click the like button in the notes. And like always, I'm Tigger, and I'm out.